Welcome back to the Star Trek Critic, where we usually trash the shows, but this is the animated series and they are all winners. Today's animated episode is the Lorelei Signal. The men are trapped on the planet getting their lives sucked out of them, and the women of the ship save the day. Yes! Again, this show is geared for kids, and it lets them know that the women of the ship are just as important as the men. This show takes place after Hollow World from Season 3, and before the Ambergris Element. Ships have disappeared regularly here. This is the first time star years are mentioned, but you never really know how long a star year is. This is the first eye of the show. She says yellow alert, but it looks like it's flashing red and yellow, doesn't it? Lieutenant Uhura says the signal she's receiving sounds like music. The signal is coming from the Torian system, 20 light years away. All the guys feel like the signal is calling them, but Lieutenant Uhura doesn't sense that at all. Lieutenant Uhura wants Nurse Chapel to see if she also notices the men are all acting like deer in the road. Spock is really mesmerized by this signal, isn't he? The girls don't say anything. Aren't their skirts a little short? And it looks like McCoy is lost in space. Here is the planet that looks a lot like Jupiter, and I'll have to take the point for the dirty glass plate that the Enterprise is sliding across on. Only about 20 minutes have passed, so minus one point. Uhura and Nurse Chapel noticed Spock had the wrong figures. Did the signal make him add something up wrong? A red shirt is on the surface. You know what's going to happen next. One point is lost for the captain and first officer beaming down together. One thing about the animated series is that they can make really elaborate sets. Does anyone know the rules about scantily clad women on Saturday morning cartoons? Because there they are. I am Bela. The head female. This is called foreshadowing. Bones's line would never be allowed on TV now. Always dangerous when strangers are invited to be dinner. The next point is lost for this captain's log since only a few more minutes have passed again. Unusual comment coming up. Bones says they're beautiful. Where are the men? Dina says they're on another compound. That makes sense. Why does it make sense? The women defend themselves by throwing fruit at Spock. The men are trapped now. Athena sheds a tear for her prey. Aww. The guys are looking worn out. You can tell this is a kid's show since on a planet full of women, Kirk is in bed alone. <laughs> Here is a reference to women science teams on the ship. Even the computer has a female voice. Computer on. Security officer Davison is also female. Davison here. And Uhura says she wants an all-woman security team to save the day. Two more eyes. Uhura takes command. He's taking command of this ship. Eventually, all the men would be down on the ship, and they're really weak, aren't they? The next point is lost, since while Scotty is singing his love song, the planet is not rotating. I am assuming command of the Enterprise. Yes! One point lost because Carver and McCoy don't have their headbands. And now they have them on. They escape and the women chase them. I don't know why they thought hiding in the urn was the best thing to do, but this is a kid's cartoon. I hate to say this, but these women aren't very bright, are they? Spock has figured out the headbands are aging them and giving life to the women. But if they glow when the women are close, how come they couldn't find them in the urn? And it was way too easy to find the communicators. All you had to do was ask this machine and there they are. Spock could barely make it up the stairs, and they really should have beamed him up right then and there. And the Enterprise has Lieutenant Uhura Ships in command. Lieutenant, Lieutenant Uhura commanding. The only problem is this rescue party are all wearing miniskirts, and they don't say who's in charge of the ship when Lieutenant Uhura beams down. Another point is lost because Nurse Chapel is in red here, and now she's in blue. Thela says, go home. Lieutenant Uhura says, we're not going anywhere. Phasers on stun. Fire. Uhura's version of negotiation is to just stun them all. She also has the girls go out in pairs instead of alone like in the series where the red shirts always get killed. So good for her. Spock uses his limited telepathy to find Nurse Chapel. Her sleeve turns red so I have to take a point. It looks like he's aging faster than Kirk and McCoy now. Minus one point because the nurse goes from dark skin to light skin. Now for a scene wipe and Lieutenant Uhura is hell bent on destroying them all. The backstory is, their ancestors came to this planet that drains the men for the women, and they are pretty much trapped in this cycle. The next point is lost because this urn wouldn't fill up with water that fast. 
they can't have kids either. These women are also kind of dense because they never thought of using the opto-odd to find the men. And there they are. We'll never learn what a Kusek is. Uhura has to tell her what they're in. And she's like, oh yeah, it's the urn we all ran by. Uhura really likes using the phasers, doesn't she? The women save the men, and even the red shirts survive. Yeah! Nurse Chapel tries everything. Spock says, let's use the transporter. Kirk says, if we do this, they'll steal our idea for the next generation and we'll never get credit for it. But Spock says it's really risky to do. The next point is lost for sending them all the way down to the surface when they know the planet drains them naturally. The idea of scattering molecules in space must have really scared little kids on a Saturday morning. Kirk says, beam us up, Scotty, not beam me up, Scotty. That's about as close as they ever get, isn't it? All those four-year-olds on Saturday morning are terrified right now. But it worked. Fila destroys the Octoad, and I guess they are still too dangerous around men, which is why a female-only crew has to come pick them up. And after centuries of immortality, they want to be as normal women who can love and die. And the final point is lost as the Enterprise sails away from a non-moving planet. The Lorelei signal where Lieutenant Uhura and the women run the Enterprise and save the crew gets a score of 88%. Yes! That's it for now. Be sure to check out my other videos and playlists. Click that like button, the share button, the subscribe button, and I'll see you again soon.